wayfinding being our first aspect that we explored within our service scape had different issues to examine. First, we considered the exterior wayfinding experience. We found that parking is a major issue for Bliss Salon Studios because of the limited amount of spaces available on the street. Most of the customers, as we were able to confirm with the hostess, have to park in the lots behind the complex that are available to access only by a dimly lit alley or by turning right on Church Street. For first time customers, this is a wayfinding nightmare. If they are lucky enough to come during the day, they may just catch a glimpse or small signage, as we will discuss momentarily, and put it together on their own. Otherwise, they will have to call the salon while driving to figure it out, or perhaps they will just give up their search entirely. Our recommendation for this wayfinding issue is that they implement some type of signage near the alley that will direct cu customers to the designated parking area. Another more general recommendation for this issue could be to implement a You Are Here map of businesses in downtown Bowling Green. As we continue our wayfinding experience from the parking lot to the store as a first time customer, we found that it was not very apparent as to where the location was unless the customer had already been acquainted with its service scape. Upon searching for indications of the salon, we were able to locate three small signs advertised for the shop displayed in the windows. We found that the signs were ineffective in providing location information to a possible motorist searching as they drove because of the faint lettering style that seems to blend into the background. Our recommendation for this is that we saw an opportunity of a vacant space located above Bliss's storefront. If this space was utilized to put a sign in correct lighting, we feel that this would improve the wayfinding experience of a first-time customer and generally be able to advertise better for Blisses. The next aspect we would like to discuss is the waiting room. There are several issues within the waiting room that come to our attention. The first issue to discuss is the seating. There's only a single bench available that can hold up to four people at best. This limited waiting area raises concerns as to how they will accommodate for guests during busy times of the year, such as high school proms. In addition to there only being four seating places, the seats themselves have no back support, making for a very uncomfortable wait. As we have discussed in class, perceived wait times can have a substantial impact on the customer's overall experience with the service scheme. Having a waiting area that is uncomfortable and provides no entertainment to the customers who are waiting can result in customer exhibiting avoidance behaviors. One solution to this problem would be to replace the bench with comfortable chairs, giving each customer their own space which they do not have to share with others. Also, a television could be included on the side wall to give the customers something to take their mind off the fact that they are waiting. This improvement could reduce the problems associated with perceived wait times and have an overall effect on the customer's perceptions of the quality of service. Another issue that we have found to be present in the waiting room is a spatial layout. As you can see, the pedicure station is located on this side wall, uncomfortably close to the waiting bench. A desired salon is supposed to have a relaxed and comfortable atmosphere. I feel that the close proximity of the pedicure station and the waiting bench cause comfort issues for both the customer waiting for the service as well as the person receiving the pedicure. This issue can have a negative effect on the customer's perception of the quality of service being provided. When analyzing the stylist area, there are a number of elements in which the salon did a good job in implementing. Some of these elements include bright spotlighting, high ceilings, attractive wood flooring, and modern furniture. All these elements combine to help create the chic environment inside the stylist area. This environment is congruent with the image the salon attempts to portray. However, there are a few elements that could use redesigning. One of the problem issues is the presence of the hair washing stations in the stylist area, which block access to the bathrooms. We also felt that the implementation of a sign as to the path to the restroom could be necessary to improve the service scape experience. It's located in the far back corner of the salon, and for those who have not been to this service scape before, they may not realize as to how to access 
the bathroom area. It is clear that Bliss Studio Salon has a limited space available to work with, which creates issues with improving the service gate. There are elements within the service gate that could be redesigned in order to fully maximize the potential of the environment. There are also a few aspects of the service gate in which the salon does a good job of incorporating, such as lighting and color scheme. By taking our recommendations into consideration, we believe Bliss Salon can undergo minor changes that would result in a more efficient service scape.